Hi, I'm Ryan from Mobility Shop and I'm here today to talk about electric scooters. In particular, we have the GoGo. -Go. This is the GoGo -Go made by Pride. It's available in three or four wheels and the Pride GoGo -Go is a transportable electric scooter. Now, electric scooters in general are designed to assist either the elderly or disabled in traveling around. Um, small machines such as this obviously better indoors and there are machines much larger for outdoors. We're going to be concentrating today on the smaller, more portable electric scooters um, and obviously specifically this exact model here. Now the Pride GoGo -Go is designed to fit into a sedan quite well. It does this by breaking into manageable pieces. Obviously the basket comes off the front, the chair comes off by just pulling it straight up, the battery pack removes by pulling it straight out, and the front and rear break apart by pulling a clasp on the side. Now I'll assemble it the other way around so we can see it all uh, getting built back together, I'll show you how easy it is. Now the front tiller folds down, can lock, and that becomes one piece there. The heaviest piece is probably the battery pack, if not the front section, and weighs just under 20 kilos. So each piece weighs, you know, just enough, and the whole machine weighs around 80 odd kilo. Obviously you're not gonna pick it up in one piece, but it all breaks apart to fit mostly into the boot of a sedan or into a larger vehicle. Now, I'll bring each piece over. This here is the transaxle. It's basically got the motor under there, which also has a smart braking system, and the two solid puncture-proof tyres. Obviously the next piece here, this is a three-wheel go-go. Go. Uh, again, front wheel, and the battery harness and steering column on the front there. The basket, the seat, which is a swivel seat, allows you to get in and out a little bit easier. I'll demonstrate that as well. And the battery pack. Now, depending on where you live, the GoGo -Go will either have 12 amp or, or 18 amp batteries as standard. This particular model has two 18 amp batteries inside a case. Now, don't be fooled in thinking that just because there's one pack, that there's only one battery. Scooters are generally 24 volt. There are some 36 volt scooters out there, but generally they're 24 volt and they do this by having two 12 amp batteries inside a pack or inside the base of the machine. So, we'll build this back now. And I'll put this here. We'll lift up the front, simply place that front section on there and it clips in. You'll notice that that's now one piece. The front then folds up and unlocks so that you've got steering. The batteries sit into position there. The seat on the post and the basket back on the front and that's been built. Now it doesn't take very long to build it and as you've seen it's not very complicated either. Now the seat swivels by holding up this lever just on the side here and using your body weight to turn. You can get in and out a little bit easier by doing this. You've also got flip up arms, again to make it a little bit easier. Now, electric scooters in general come in three or four wheels. A lot of people will come in here and they'll say that a three wheel is unstable. It's not generally true. It is true a four wheeler is more stable, but a three wheeler, if it was unstable, they, they wouldn't be sold. They're a very stable machine. You can basically drive them quite, quite well. And as you can see, three wheelers have their advantages. A four-wheeler could never have made that tight spot. 
A four-wheeler has got stability, but it sacrifices a bit of turning circle to allow it to, to be a bit more stable. A three-wheeler, even though it is slightly less stable, it turns on a sixpence. It's very, very uh, well maneuverable. The three-wheeler also has more room to put your feet. The four-wheeler has obviously got two wheel arches here, whereas a three-wheeler has a triangle and then a little bit of plastic either side generally it allows you to get your feet onto. Now you can't really say that on this model, it's a little bit small to have that advantage but a three-wheeler does have that usually. Now the three-wheeler, three-wheel models are so maneuverable that shopping centres generally use these in their higher fleets. Now the Pride GoGo -Go is just one of uh, many small scooters that you can buy but it is probably the most popular small scooter you can get. It, uh, in terms of cost is, is a little under $2,000. The recommended retail is a touch over but uh, we sell them online for under $2,000 and uh, the battery will last you in terms of range about uh, 15 to 20 kilometers depending on the weight of the user the terrain you're traveling on and different other factors such as temperature and things like that. Now the batteries are replaceable. The pack opens up and you can replace them with two 18 amp batteries in this particular case or if it's a 12 amp pack you can replace them with those batteries too. Now depending on uh, depending on what type of batteries you get because there are heavy duty or standard can depend on, on what the price of replacement would be. For example a couple of 12 amp batteries might cost you $75 each whereas an 18 amp battery costs around $90 each uh, and you can actually replace those. Now if you are buying heavy duty batteries just make sure that, uh, that, that you know exactly what you're paying for. Some people have replaced the larger batteries in scooters with car batteries. Although they look the same, it's not necessarily the case. Scooter batteries are what's called sealed lead acid. A sealed lead acid battery has got no uh, acid ports for top up and there is no need to, to maintain the acid levels. Now, the most important factor here is that batteries, when they are being charged and, and sometimes used, will ex exhale uh, hydrogen gas from the vents. Now this hydrogen gas, obviously, underneath a covered scooter shroud uh, with all the electronics in there can become an explosive hazard or, or just dangerous in general, which is the reason why those batteries aren't available for, for transportation on airlines and the like. These here, these batteries are available on airlines. You can use, take electric scooters on a plane and you can use sealed lead acids on board if you get the permission of the, of the aircraft. Now, that, that's uh, the most important thing. When replacing the batteries, make sure whoever's uh, installing them or whoever you're buying them off knows what they're talking about. Because if you get the wrong sort of battery, not only can it be dangerous, but you, you might just find that you, you get nowhere near the range that you're supposed to, or, um, or they don't last anywhere near as long as they should. Now, electric scooters generally come with a battery charger and the battery charger will obviously charge the batteries. Now, depending on the size of the scooter can depend on what battery charger you get and how long it takes to charge the batteries. This is a uh, three amp charger. Now, a three amp charger will obviously charge three amps per hour. There are two 18 amp batteries here. So you've got to work out exactly how long you've, you've used it for. Rule of thumb is you should be charging these batteries as often as you can. Batteries in general like to be charged, these type of batteries. If you leave them any more than about two weeks without charging them, you'll start to notice that your top end range drops off any more than about a month and you've pretty much ruined a set of batteries. Um, I've known people that will, uh, will then turn on the scooter and they'll say, oh, the needle's all the way up in the green, the batteries must be fine. The reality is the batteries are showing fine, but as soon as you go to use it, the needle will pull across into the amber and you go more than a kilometre and you'll find that you can't get home. So these batteries, they need to be charged up as often as, the, as you can without going overboard. If you can only charge it once a week and you don't use it that often, that's fine. If you're using it daily, you should be charging it every night if you can. Now, 
these type of battery chargers are designed to charge these sort of scooters. You shouldn't use particularly heavy duty battery chargers on light duty batteries and vice versa. You're either not going to get enough charge or you're just going to be cooking the batteries. Now this particular scooter um, is obviously designed for transportation. As you've seen it will fit into the boot of a very small vehicle. Um, there are other types of scooters. Next time we'll be going through the Pride Path Rider and also then through some electric wheelchairs in general. Uh, if you have any questions on electric scooters, you can call us on 1300 133 505 or contact us via our website at www.mobilityshop.com.au. Well, thanks for that and uh, hope to see you online.